What's up, everybody? Viper here, back in Miss Survival, and uh, today I'm gonna go over uh, farming, how to farm corn and uh, tomatoes. I've had previous videos on this, but uh, I did some more testing, and there's a little bit more information to add to it. Um, first, I'm gonna start by uh, building the different things you can put uh, your crops in. As you can see, I got a lot of tomatoes and corn growing. I'm going to go ahead and go up in this fenced area so I ain't got to worry about it if the mist comes in. Um, but you open your uh, build tab and you go over here to your farming and you have your crop furrows and if you click the little plant then you'll have your different planters. Um, I recommend using crop furrows for pretty much everything unless you're going to use these for decorations. And I'll show you when I get to harvesting why. But the crop furrows are pretty simple. You just put them down. You can rotate them. Uh, if you want them have nice little rows, you can add them to there. And it takes about 20 minutes to build it. Bam, it's done. All right. Next one, you're gonna have your uh, your large clay pot, which you'll need clay and a soil sack. You just put it down. And then I have a soil stack, but right now it doesn't have any uh, any uh, soil in it, and I have clay. But I should be able to build this without any soil, which it let me. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's some kind of glitch or what's going on with that. I will not build these just because it takes uh, sewing kits, and those are pretty hard to find. Um, I think there's less than 20 in the game or something that I've seen. And you need those for quivers and stuff like that, so I won't bother building them. Alright, here's your garden table. This one holds six plants. But you notice it takes 30 kilograms of uh, soil. So some people think you need three soil sacks for that, but you don't. You just take your shovel... start filling it and then you build it and it'll take that 10 kilograms of soil I, I put in the bag already and then I'll just have to do it again Alright, so you only need one sack, so don't bother making more than one of these. But to make those, it's in uh, your uh, hatchet right here, and it takes uh, six, six rags and a, a sewing kit. That's another reason I only make one of them. Alright, then you have your, uh, your large planter. And this one right here will hold 12 different plants. And you could do the same thing with the uh, that I just did with that one planter by adding the soil one bag at a time. Alright, that was done. Now to plant them, you're going to need to uh, put your uh, seeds in your hot bar. Put the shovel away. And you notice the corn won't go in uh, any of these. The only thing corn will go into is uh, the furrows. So you just put it over it and then hit uh, hit the left mouse button or actually hit E and it'll plant it. Now the tomatoes will go into anything that you can make. Even crop furrows.
I like to use these uh, planters for decorations. Only because when I go to the harvest, you'll see that uh, when you harvest these, sometimes you won't be able to use them again. So I, I won't use them anymore for farming. Now once you, uh, you plant them, you're going to need to water them. So you can use these uh, buckets, the watering cans, or people say you can use these uh, just regular buckets, but I won't and I'll show you why. Let me just use a watering can on, on this one. You're going to water it until it turns really muddy. Sometimes it'll take almost a whole can to water it. So that's fully watered. Now if I go to those buckets and I try to water this one, I don't know how many buckets it's going to take. Three buckets, four buckets, five buckets to get it that dark. And the buckets only hold 10 liters of water and the uh, cans hold 15. You can fill these uh, the cans up by uh, or the watering cans through the uh, actual barrels. But the uh, I like to have build my farm down by the uh, the water, just because uh, it's just a matter of hitting the the E button to fill it up, and your watering can's full. Instead of having to go to your hit the V and actually take the buckets over to your fill thing and fill them up that way, I just it takes too much time. But when I'm planning, I usually build five to ten rows with these cop floors because it'll, it seems to take less water if I crouch down and just go back and forth watering them. So that's the reason I, I like these furrows. It seems to take less water and the, the tomatoes, you only have to water them the first time. You get them like this, you plant them, and then seven days later you'll have full-grown tomatoes and you don't have to water them at all just that first time corn uh, I've tested where you can water them once a day every other day every three days every four days but once you're getting to every uh, every three days it takes ten days for corn every two days it takes nine days to make to grow corn and if you do it once a day it'll take you eight days and then once you get in four and five days, it takes 13 to 15 days to grow uh, corn to full stage. If you're going to put your farm where you don't have water available, like I do down here by this lake, you can use these water barrels and you can drive your truck and you can have it three or four water barrels on the back of this truck, depending on what you put in it. And you can fill these up and then take them back and forth. But I'm gonna I'm gonna speed up time till tomorrow morning. I'm gonna go over the harvesting and uh, the problems with using uh, the planters and actually cooking. Here's your uh, different stages of growth for your tomatoes. This is what it looks like when you first plant it. When you got stage one, it's got a little bitty sprout. Uh, stage two, it's getting a little taller. Three, four five and six you really want to wait till it stayed six before you actually harvest you see these uh all red and with a little yellow on the tomatoes just because you get more tomatoes and a more chance for uh, seeds you can harvest these tomatoes once you reach stage three but if you do you're not going to get anything out of it and if you accidentally hit the harvest button Hit this cancel as fast as you can uh, so you don't waste your plant. So I don't have any any sticks, any seeds, any 
Let me think of my inventory. I'm going to harvest this so, just so you can see what you're not going to get. And I got absolutely nothing from that stage 3 plant. So if you have only one seed, you're kind of SOL. Now if you harvest stage 4, 5, or 6, you're going to get something. Usually you'll get at least one tomato from a stage 4 plant. But that's, that's taking a big risk. I got two tomatoes out of that one. And I got one seed. I actually got two seeds out of that one. So I've seen, sometimes I've gotten one. Sometimes I've gotten none, no seeds. So you want to be careful. Let me just drop this stuff on the ground. And here's your stage five harvested. I got four tomatoes. Zero seeds. One seed. So I got two seeds out of that one. And then the stage six. I got quite a bit of tomatoes. Eight tomatoes. I usually get at least three seeds, you see four, or sometimes five. So it really depends on the the plant. So that time I got four seeds out of it. So the better you, the longer you wait, the more seeds you're going to actually be able to get out of them. Here is the six stages of growth for the the corn. You get your first initial plant, stage one. Two, three, four, five, and six. And I got the little uh, the torches up there for scale. Uh, but you can harvest these plants at any point in the growth stage, even all the way up to stage one. And uh, do not harvest this early because you won't get anything. Maybe some sticks and leaves. And if you do, just hit this cancel button. If you accidentally start harvesting when you're watering it or whatever. Um, you can start getting corn once you get to stage four, five, and six. You'll see uh, one corn cob on stage four, two corn cobs on stage five, and then stage six you'll see three corn cobs. Plus, it's all yellowish. Um, it's really tall. I would wait till it's stage six to bother before you're harvesting anything. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what you get from harvesting each stage. Alright, again, nothing in my inventory. And I got some sticks and, sticks and leaves. That was stage one. More sticks and leaves. Stage three. More sticks and leaves. And stage four, you start seeing corn. You should get some kind of corn out of this. Well, that didn't give me nothing. Uh, I'm sure that corn was uh, pretty glitched. If you, uh, the first time you actually have seeds, I would suggest you save before you're harvesting. Just in case you do have uh, that same thing happen to you. All right, stage five. That time I got five corn and I actually got one seed. The corn is a whole lot better on getting seeds out of it than uh, than tomatoes. Like I get two there. That's four total. Six. That's nine. I'll get 11 seeds from this one plant. And if I go to stage six... That time I got eight corn and two seeds. That's three, five, eight, eleven, fourteen, seventeen, twenty. So that's 25 seeds I would get from this one plant if you wait. So it's it's only one day longer from 5 to 6. It takes 8 days, so uh, suggest you wait as long as you can. 
if you're going to have uh, crop furrows or uh, around your house where your NPCs are, I like to have it blocked off so the uh, NPCs don't get stuck in them. Because they will get stuck in these furrows. And if you're going to harvest a bunch of uh, corn and uh, tomatoes, it's good to have a place you can uh, do it in relatively safe safety because it's going to take a while. It takes like uh, five minutes or something to uh, to harvest one corn. Or four minutes. And it's also going to take up a lot of space. So that's just one corn plant and two uh, tomato plants. So to the to end up getting the uh, seeds out of them, you'll end up having to go to uh, harvest. And corn, you can get one to three seeds. Usually I will save the uh, three seeds, and I'll use them for uh, making seeds, more seeds. Uh, and the, uh, the twos and the ones, I will actually chop them up into... Uh, chicken feed which takes three corn ten leaves and a uh, mortar and pestle to do 15 minutes but it also takes five minutes per seed you're gonna get out of here so it's gonna be through one will be five minutes two will be fifth or ten minutes and three will be 15 minutes so it's good to have a good safe spot to be doing these harvestings at. Now harvesting the tomatoes, if you go in and you can harvest, it'll take seven minutes for each tomato plant. I've only seen one seed out of each one. But if you get a, a zero, if you just go to harvest right here, you can get rid of it. So it's an easy way to get rid of all these uh, zero tomatoes because they're not really worth cooking and it beats going into the uh, trash bin and throwing them away like this. Now when you uh, are trying to replant them, sometimes it will not let you replant them like this one. I cannot replant this, so I'm going to have to tear this up, this furrow up, to be able to replant and actually build a new furrow in it. So if you like ni nice, neat rows, that's, that's what you're going to have to do until they fix that. And sometimes it's a pain to get it to, to click in there. And now I can replant. Now the what I said earlier about the planters, I have this planter here. It holds 12 plants, and there's one spot I can put a tomato out of all of them. So that's why I will normally use these uh, as decorations. If I want to, if I'm trying to go for seeds, I'll use the uh, the actual crop for us. And if you look in uh, the build thing, it says it only holds nine plants, but it actually holds 12. Four times three is 12, so. And this one does hold six like it says, but this one holds 12 instead of nine. So I'm not sure what that type is for. You are able to move these uh, planters so you can move them around, rotate them around, put them wherever you want. Same with these little pots. You can't move the furrows, but you can move the actual planters. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, speed up time so I can get rid of my hunger bar. And then uh, show you cooking uh, the corn and the tomatoes and how it's... 
it's not really worth it to use it for food. Um, I've just been farming just to get the seeds, so eventually when they actually fix the chickens, there's an actual point in uh, farming. But right now, it's just a just to have something to do, really. So let me speed up time. All right, I'm gonna cook up this corn and uh, tomatoes real quick. All right, so you see uh, my hunger bar is empty. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this uh, tomato. And it filled it up to the, the bottom of the U. All right, we're back empty again. And this got me up to the inn. So you'd have to be eating a lot of tomatoes and a lot of corn to be able to fill you up. Definitely not worth it for me. I'd rather use uh, meat, dried meat or cooked meat for food or cans. All right, I'm going to end the video down here because it's a good place for me to show you the uh, crop furrows that are glitched. These uh, ones that are still wet, I know I'm going to have to replace these. So I'll have to tear them up and uh, replant. There's some that you can't tell, like the one back at the, uh, the White House. But for the most part, if I see one that's uh, damp, then I know I'm going to have to replace them. To find the actual seeds, I'm going to put a link in the description, but there's uh, two in bandit camps, and then there's another location up in the uh, city, and there's also a box that supposedly has a chance to drop it, but I've not seen it, but uh, you can check that video below if you're having problems finding seeds, and hopefully you'll be able to find at least one corn and one uh, tomato at least. But thanks for watching, and I will catch y'all later.